In this video traders, we are going to look at oil trader terminology. Stay tuned. Hey traders, very warm welcome to you. So if you trade crude oil on NYMEX or you trade it via spread bet, CFD, whatever, maybe you want to know some of the terminology that's used in the industry of crude oil production, refinement, exploration. Okay, so we have upstream, midstream, downstream. Those are three descriptions used. Upstream is basically where the company will go out, explore for oil, drill for oil, extract the oil. Midstream is where they will refine the oil, they will transport it, they will do all the things they need to do to it to create whatever they want gonna create out of it. And downstream is the final part of the process where it's marketed where it's sold on, where it's split, and it's sold off onto the companies who are consuming each of the opponents of the cracking process, or whoever may want to buy it. So that's basically the upstream, midstream, downstream process. Then we've got the two bigger types of crude oil. Brent, which is traded in the UK, which is kind of the benchmark for crude oil. WTI, which is West Texas Intermediate, which is traded in the US. It's one of the crude oils that you would probably trade on NYMEX. Um, Brent, I believe, still traded on ICE. Sweet, sour, and heavy crude oil. So lots of different types of crude oils out there, but sweet oil is little or no sulfur, which is the most desirable type of crude oil because it can be processed into fuels, for vehicles, and that kind of stuff, jet fuel. Sour oil uh, takes a bit more processing, not desirable. Generally, it's considered sour when it's more than half a percent of sulfur. And heavy oil, it's given the description because it generally doesn't flow very well because it's quite heavy and it's got an API gravity of less than 22 degrees. Okay, so moving on to the exploration side of things. So oil explorer goes out, maybe you're investing in an oil exploring com oil exploration company, you're reading the, the kind of drill, uh, the well report or whatever it may be. Three P's of exploration. You've got proved or probable, possible and proved. Proved is a 90% probability of being able to extract commercially viable oil. Probable is 50% and possible is 10%. So those are the kind of benchmarks you've got and it helps you make a decision as an investor or as a trader. If they come out and they say, hey, the well is proved, then likelihood is that thing's gonna be flowing out oil. And we'll get to that in a second. If they come out and they say, oh, it's possible, it's probably needs more, exp it needs more exploration, but it's not quite there. However, it's better than a dry hole, which is completely not economically viable. There may be some crude oil in there, but it might be so hard to extract. Perhaps the rock is some kind of ultra hard rock or the position of it's very awkward to get to, or they just don't know there's enough in there. Whatever it is, not economically viable. Then we've got directional and vertical drilling. Directional pretty much stands around its sound. It's when you go in at an angle to get to the crude oil and vertical drilling is where they're drilling straight down. I know now a technology now they can kind of curve and, and do bits and pieces with the, with the drill bit but hey, it is what it is, directional, vertical. Then we've got some terminology here. We've got NPV, which is the net present value, which is the amount of crude oil they've got in there multiplied by the dollars. And it's actually the amount of barrels they've got there. Crude oil is measured in barrels. So the amount of barrels of crude oil they believe they've got in the well multiplied by the dollar value at that moment in time, or actually maybe they use it for a future value. I'm not sure ultimately how they do that. I guess it comes down to each company and they probably have a little reference as to what they've used, but I would assume it's gonna be the current spot price uh, or maybe they use an average price over a period of months but you know what accountants are like they'll do what uh, they think looks best and then write a reason why afterwards so bbl uh, barrel of oil it's 42 gallons in a barrel of oil. BBL is the uh, nomenclature used for that. A BBL per day or a slash D is barrels per oil per day. Talking about how much a well is flowing. So that once a well has been explored, they've kind of got the oil pumping out of it. How much is flowing out of the well per day? So how much income is that well producing for the company in terms of oil price multiplied by the amount of barrels per day? Pretty kind of simple stuff, but you at least you can gauge how much cash flow is coming in. And then BOE is, is not Bank of England, it's barrel of oil equivalent, which is the unit of energy that's taken to burn one barrel of oil. All right, guys, there's some introduction to terminology for oil traders. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.